Here is an update for my Megawang 2000 Turbo Edition hardware. I'm just running the latest code on my Commodore 64, and you might notice that the board stack is a bit smaller. We'll go into that in some detail shortly. So, at the moment, I've got one character layer in the foreground. Here we go, nice sharp pixels, with a fully scrolling 1024 square RGB 565 bitmap layer. So let's hit the old reset button on the Easy Flash so that I can stop the Commodore 64 from updating the scroll registers at a nice screen position, say like here. There we go. So we can see now how detailed the RGB 565 screen background looks like. Uh, this was taken from quite a large photograph. Uh, it was a JPEG as well, so it's got some JPEG compression artifacts in there. But yes, it looks really great. So the Commodore 64 is plugged into this board, which provides two megabytes of external memory. This converts the memory signals into memory writes, which then go onto the board stack. And this is the video generation plane in the background for my Megawang 2000 Turbo Edition video hardware. And then we have the character layer. In front of that is the bitmap RGB layer for bitmap RGB 565, and then there's the backplane. So this RAM expansion sends data to the user port interface, which then sends it on to the graphics card, the bitmap layer, the, the characters layer. So let's run that code again. The C64 with the expansion RAM is DMAing two megabytes of data. Uh, 1024 times 1024 times 2 because each color is 2 bytes. Each pixel is 2 bytes rather. And there we go. There's the smaller board stack. So I've removed all of the, uh, the scale sprites. I'm just testing the character layer with the bitmap RGB layer. So it's like a mini wang, not a mega wang. Now I've removed the external memory expansion and I've just connected the Commodore 64 straight to the memory interface, which sends control information to the board stack here. So you can see it in some more detail. This is like the minimal amount that you need for a mega wang uh, board stack. So you need the memory interface, user port memory interface for the Commodore 64 to the board stack, to the back plane, and then to the video generation layer to something like a characters layer or a sprites layer, and then a bitmap RGB. So the video generation board, the characters board, the bitmap RGB board, the backplane can already be purchased from PCBWay. I'm just tidying up the design for the user port interface board here to send memory information from the C64 and interface it to the 24-bit memory of the expansion video and audio hardware. And I'm going to be making the other boards available uh, once I get their final designs built and tested with PCBWay.